my name is Marsha Ali, and I'm here this morning to tell you about my circle of life leader, Renee Hatcher. She is the bomb. She has been a godsend to me. When you operate in ministry, in a ministry such as mine, I'm one of the intercessors. And my primary function in the church is to pray for others. But when you have someone who is willing to take the time to pray for you as an individual, who checks on you regularly, who sends you that random text to let you know that God has you on somebody else's mind, it makes all the difference in the world. So today I salute my circle of light leader, Vernay Hatcher. God bless you. Renee. Hello, my name is Casper Edmonds, and this is my wife, Michelle. Um, we just recently joined the Mount and our torch bearers are Mr. Sean and Miss Jackie Brown. Um, since we've been going here, they have made it just a, um, they just made it a wonderful experience. Um, they call us on a regular basis, they text us, they email us, just to see how we're doing, making sure we're doing okay, making sure that we don't need anything. And I just want to say that it's just a blessing to have them as our torch bearers. Hello, our torch bearer is Cheryl Porter. And what she did for me personally was she uh, prayed me through a very traumatic time that I was having at the end of last year. And thanks to her, um, my mind is free, and calm, and I'm able to deal with day to day. My name is Keisha Wright. My leader name is Miss Cheryl Little. And I just want to say she is awesome. She contacts me every week faithfully, checks on me to make sure um, how I'm doing, if I need anything. Um, she lets me know about the events, the many events that goes on here at the Mount. And I'm thankful that I was connected to her through the Mount. Hi, my name is Gina King, and um, I'm just here to say a few words about the Torch Bear Ministry. Um, I think what I've always felt is that that is a very difficult ministry to be a part of. Um, when I first became a partner, I thought, you know, that they were doing things that were very special. First of all, the leader, Keith um, Chapman, um, I thought did something that was very special. I mean, I, I, what I assume is that he looks at the individuals that are becoming partners and tries to best match them up with the torchbearer that, you know, will best relate to them. And he knew that I was a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. So, as a result of that, he matched me up with my torch bearer was Renee Hatcher, and she's also a sister of mine in Delta. Now, when I say that I feel like it's a difficult uh, ministry, I, I believe that because of the commitment and because of the responsibilities that come with it. Um, I'll never forget, um, you know, I, I get emails from Renee, I get texts from her, I get phone calls from her, and she's always looking out for me or explain, willing to explain things to me. She knows about my family members. Um, and she'll tell me, well, we're going to pray about that, or we're going to do this about that. And then there are times that she just calls me, and we just talk about nothing, which I really, really appreciate. But the awesome thing about her is that I believe that she travels a majority of the month, or at least that's what it seems like. But even in all of her travels, she never hesitates to contact me, still by email, text, or phone. And if she's going to be away, what she says to me is, I'm going to be away this week. But if you need me, you know how to reach me. And um, if you need someone locally, here's another torch bearer that you can contact. And I really think that that's really um, amazing. Um, one day I was talking to her, and I said to her, Renee, when is this going to stop? You know, and she said, well, when is what's going to stop? I said, all the calls and the text and the email. She said, well, never. And I think that's awesome because when I joined, I think she got assigned like 10 other people at that time. And our ministry is consistently growing. So I know as it grows, she's still getting additional people. So it's really amazing to me that um, she had the 10 of us and then I don't know how many additional people that she has, but yet she's still able to reach out and do all of the things that, that she does um, for us. Um, I think that what they do, being the first line of communication, is a direct uh, reflection of Bishop and Elder and their vision, and I think that it's a good thing. Um, when you come to the Mount, by having the um, this ministry support you, 
there's no way that you can fall between the cracks. I think that if you do fall between the cracks, it's not because you haven't had someone looking out for you, someone loving you and supporting you. You fall between the cracks here at the map because it's your own choice. So thank you, Brene. I really appreciate you. Good morning. My name is Ayanna White, and I'm here to let you know about my torch girl, Brene Hatch. She is a wonderful one. God has blessed me to have her this year and last year as my torch girl leader. And I love the way that she checks in on me every week with my text messages to make sure that I am having a wonderful and blessed day and the year. And as far as my kids, we are all this And I just want to thank God for blessing me with her as being my torch girl. Andrea stays in touch with me weekly. Every time I need her, she's there. We don't talk very often. I was having some troubles with my boys, and she put me in touch with the men's mentoring uh, Mondays, and my boys absolutely love it. They come here, and they share their experiences, and I am so grateful for her. Thanks, Andrew. Hi, my name is Patrice. This is my daughter, Makai, and this is my circle of light leader, Susan. Um, Susan checks on me weekly, either a phone call or email. They really inspire me, encourage me, helps me feel connected with the mount. Um, it's just been a great experience. Uh, Cheryl has reached out uh, just about every week uh, via phone call or text message, even, even voice messages. She's been very great. I want to leave you with this one thing. You need to get connected. Are you connected? <laughs>